Once the alarm goes off, many students begin to start their day. However, the amount of sleep most received the night before may not be the amount they need. Adolescents um, can require about uh, eight to 10 hours of sleep um, per night, and most uh, young people don't get that much. Although there is a recommended amount of sleep, many students sacrifice it for schoolwork. I like staying up late to do my work, mostly because I, if I plan to wake up early in the mornings, I'll usually like sleep through my alarm or won't have enough time to get it finished. On top of schoolwork and extracurricular activities, some students struggle to find a balance between school and sleep. Life is becoming more and more demanding and you have practice before school and then you have work after school and we all only have 24 hours in the day. Students may look to find a balance between their schoolwork and activities, but is there one? There isn't one. I mean, especially not in high school. I mean, if you're taking all these AP classes and you're in extracurriculars, you're gonna be putting out more time than you have. While finding that balance may be difficult, there are some ways to help regulate it. You know, I think the biggest thing for students when finding the balance between work and sleep is utilizing the time that they're given within the day. Even with assignments, administrators think that students should set aside a time for sleep for health reasons and academic performance. Turn their electronics off, have them in a different room, aren't up late Snapchatting or, you know, sending friends things on Twitter. Those are the students that come in and they're sort of revived and ready to go for the day. Set a bedtime and regardless of what you've got going on, I mean, just you have to set a pattern. You may think that bedtimes are just for elementary kids, but it turns out they work for high schoolers too. I'm Taylor Calhoun with Night TV.